And hello, greetings everyone. <coughs> greetings to all you around the world. How are you all doing today? This is a good day that he has made for you and I, right? Hallelujah. It's good to sit here to share with you and just to get together with you to uh, <coughs> go over some some uh, scriptures and, and psalms. And today we're going to uh, kind of expound a little bit on uh, in the book of Daniel. How do you like that? Have you, have you ever read it before? Have you just gotten down and see how, how great it is? You know, when it talks about um, the, the prophets and it talks about uh, the king. Well, we're going to get together today and we're going to kind of go over it, okay? Got some things to share with you for you and I so that we can keep on going, pursue, so we can keep on ascending with him, okay? So this morning, and also I want to let you know that like you all know, every time uh, that we uh, we come out, uh, Elder Josh, he is the one that will read for me. And like I've said it before, I like for him to read because I want you to hear his word, his encouraging word, that it's just not me <clears throat> that I'm making it up or anything like that. He is my voice right now, okay? So once again, I want to uh, greet everyone. Thank you for tuning in to D, um, H2HDI and uh, turning on uh, Let Isha Speak, okay? May his word, may his encouraging word, one word out of what the scriptures will hit and pierce our heart today that we get in that place of really paying attention to him really relying on him okay so all you all over the world in the city in the field wherever you're at let's start today okay okay so let's turn to um elder what were we where were we going to turn today first First, we are going to turn to the book of Psalms, chapter 91. Come on. Then we're going to go to Daniel, chapter 4. <clears throat> and then we're going to uh, Psalm 73, verse 28. Okay. So, do you all hear that? I know you all might be getting ready to go to work or do what you're going to do or you're arriving from work, ah, taking your shoes off and just kicking back. Come on. We're going to listen to uh, Isha, see what she's going to talk today, okay? So, let's go to uh, Psalms 91 today. Got it, Alder? Yes. Okay. Just want to talk a little bit about uh, Psalms 91, where, uh, where it, it says for us to go in, in the day of trouble or in the day like, uh, you're either tired or you don't know what you're doing and, and you feel like uh, you're not you're not yourself. Well, you know, he says to go under the shadow of his wing, to rest there. When you feel in your life, in your being, in your heart, that you're unstable, that you're not walking in that place of being stable, being free, being happy, being sure of yourself and you feel like a little bit uh, wavering, which is unstable. What am I doing? And oh, I, have, I come from work. I have to do this and do that. And I, I understand it and I don't understand. And, uh, you, you, you know, you're just thinking about it because you can't get out of it. Do you know that he says when you're in that place of being unstable, come to me. He says, you know, you've been out there just roaming around we got to gather ourselves we got to be in shalom we want to be children of peace so we go he invites us he tells us come come and rest let me give you some stability let's talk you know so, let's have Elder read it, and we'll just keep on expounding on it, okay, today. So, Elder, can you start now for us? Yeah. Psalms 91 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahuwah, He is my refuge and my <clears throat> fortress, my God in Him. I will trust. Hallelujah. Uh, 
it's talking about that word trust right there. Uh, you know, he he gives us scripture, and he really wants us to think about it. Sometimes he'll say, he'll say, uh, uh, "Sila, think about it. Kick back, think about it, and say, hmm, maybe I should." You know, he says, "Sila, trust in him." Can you trust in him, or are you too much in the place where, what am I trusting in? Who am I trusting in? You just can't find yourself because you're weary. Mm -hmm. You're getting weary. You're getting unstable. You're not. You're not standing. You're not. You're. You're. You're, you're just wavering all over the place. Well, he says, you know, come, come unto me. You know. He says, in one of the scriptures in Psalms, he says, it says, come and taste that he is good. Yahuwah is good. Listen to him. So he says to you, under the shadow of his wing, you can rely on him. You can sila, trust, and rely on him. Do you know that... That when you rely on him, that you're leaning on him, you're trusting him, that for anything that you, you don't understand or anything that you're going through, that you thought you had it together in your head, then all of a sudden it hits you while you're driving or whatever you're doing. You go, well, well, wait a minute, what am I doing? What am I doing? What? And it gets you in a place where you get unstable. He says, rely. Do you know what rely is? But you're gonna lean on him. You're gonna trust in him. You're gonna gird yourself with him because he is the one that you are gonna go. So that you can rely on him. Okay? I'm gonna have uh, Elder read uh, a couple of more uh, verses, but I wanted to tell you, a, a, we're gonna talk about a little story. A little story in, um, which is in the book of Daniel, okay? So, Elder, can you continue so that we can uh, keep on expounding the book of Daniel? Sure. Uh, verse 3, continuing in Psalms 91, and I'll finish this ver uh, last verse. Okay. Surely he shall deliver you from Ooh. the snare of the fowler and from the perilous, perilous pestilence. Come on. Those are those little, those little pestilence, those little thoughts that come to our mind. Those little foxes, those little whatever you comes around your head. You got to do this, you got to do that. You got to just, oh, the past, the front, this, that, can't do it. Those are all in here that get you unstable, that get you off your mind and you can't think on who? On him. You can't, it gets you away from you relying on him and trusting him and knowing that you are going to lead me out of this. You are the one that's not going to let me die. You're the one that's going to save me. You know that? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Going in the book of Daniel. Now. Well, just, uh, well, how many scriptures did you read there? Uh, just three scriptures. Okay. So... Really, what I'm, I'm, I'm want to tell you today that if anyone <laughs> right now, as I'm speaking to all those out there that are listening, that tuned in around the world, next to me, in here, or including myself, you know, when we're, we're we might be in this in, in the place right now that we are in that place, but then you know we think we think, oh no, I'm not in that place because you know. I'm smart. I can do this. I have this and that. That I I got that because you know I had it up here and I did it. You know, putting all the honor and all the everything to ourselves. But I want to tell you that there is a, there is a man in the book of Daniel, which is. Uh, can you turn there? Yes. Okay. In the in the book of Daniel, chapter four. There was a king, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar which was, uh, that told a, uh, a vision, a dream that he had to, uh, to Daniel. And so uh, he said it, He's, he told him the, the, the vision, the dream that he had. So after he told Daniel, Daniel thought about it, you know, and it kind of like, Daniel got it, but he was thinking about it like, ooh, how am I going to, I'm going to tell this king what's going to happen. And so he tells the king 
that because you're king and because who you are and because you could be smart and you could have riches, you think that you did this because of your riches, because of your mind? You think that this happened because of you? We take all the glory and all the I did it. I did it. And you want everyone to know about it, you know? And, and so, you know, the father's look, looking upon us. He knows what's happening. So Daniel tells the king the vision. He says, you know, uh, the king tells Daniel that the vision that he had was about a big tree that was in the center of the earth. And it was so big that its, its branches, its leaves totally went out. What does that remind you of? A haughty king, huh? Uh -huh. Someone that's haughty that I got it all. I did it. I got this house. You know what? I worked for it. I did. And I got it. I got this car because I bought it. You know what? I know this word more than you because you know what? I studied. Think about that. As I'm talking right now, if, you know, think about it. So the king said that that's what the, how he saw the tree. It was spreading its wing, uh, his, the leaves, the branches all over, and, and, and the birds got their shade, and they got their house, and all this stuff. And so Daniel thought about it, maybe for a, a couple of weeks or whatever. So uh, Daniel comes back and tells the king, you know that tree? That's you. I think you, I think you have become a little bit too haughty now. And then he told the king what was going to happen to him. And it happened to him. You know what? What the father showed me is that he, be he began to rely upon himself. He began to rely upon himself. Like when you're out in the field and you're planting a tree or you're removing the bush or you're arrogating, oh, that, that tree came up because I planted it. This company is working because I let it. I told it what to do. This happened or I painted, whatever the situation is. We have to be careful not to put the honor because we did it. Remember, we don't do anything without him. He knows all things, you know? And so he, um, he kind of relied up too much upon him, you know? And he, and, and, uh, uh, what happened, what Daniel prophesied to him, started and it began. And you know, you can read the, uh, chapter 4 for yourself in the book of Daniel. And then you could see in the last, uh, let's say in the last four verses in the bottom, 34 to 37, Seven. you will know what, the, uh, what happened to him. You know what happened? He humbled himself. Everything that Daniel told him came to. And the king began to, it brought him down to his knees where he humbled himself. And he said, oh, Daniel, you are, he began to talk about Yahuwah. He began to talk about the king, that he is true, that Daniel had him in his heart and in his mind and told him the truth, what happened, and it happened. And it humbled the king. And in verse 37, 34 to 37, I'm going to have Elder read it, but I want you to read the whole chapter 4 of Daniel, and you'll, and you'll uh, come to understand, okay? So are you ready, Elder? Yes, I am. It says, Daniel chapter 4, verse 34. At the end of the time, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes to heaven, and my understanding returned to me, and I blessed the Most High and praised and honored Him who lives forever. Hallelujah. For His dominion is everlasting dominion, and His kingdom is from generation to generation. All the inhabitants of the earth are <coughs> reputed as nothing. Come on. He does according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. No one can restrain his hand or say to him, What have you done? At the same time, my reason returned to me and for the glory of my kingdom. 
my honor and splendor returned to me. Come on, it my came counselors and nobles restored to me. I restored to my kingdom an excellent majesty was added to me. Verse 37. <clears throat> now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the king of heaven. All of those works are truth and his ways justice. And those who walk in pride, he is able to put down. Woo Come on. Hallelujah. That's what I want you to read chapter four. And then you, you go over it. You know, I, when I heard it, when I was hearing it, you know, right away I go, check my heart, Father. If there was ever a time where I was too haughty, or I felt myself that I was better than anyone, Father. Oh, yeah. <coughs> he listens, Father. He will, he will <clears throat> bring you to that place where you have to come, where you come to repentance. Repent and don't do it anymore. Get out of that place. Because you're there not because of you. You're there because of him. And if you're going through a rough time, he takes you through that rough time so that you can come to repentance and know it was him all the time. It was him that took you out of that place. Hallelujah. And I thank so much. I, I, I read it over again. I heard it over again. Oh, Father, you're so good, Father. You know, you can have everything right now, and tomorrow you might not have it. So thank him, because he will take you through that path. He will take you through that, that place but he'll always be with you, take you through it. And you can turn around and you can say, you can pick up your head and say, thank you, Yahuwah. It was you all the time that was with me. Oh. I relied on you, Father. If you're right now at that place where, you know, you rely on him, then you let him go, and then you go, oh, you got it made, you got to do, you know, you, you have everything now, you got riches, you got a car, you know, you forget to rely on him and you keep relying on yourself that I can do it. I got this job because I got the job or this and that. No, you thank him for every word that comes out of your mouth, for the breath that you take, for every step that we take. I'm saying this to all those around the world because we get to that place. If you're getting to that place or if you are in that place, think about it. Think about it. Remember, we got to think. We got to kind of slow down, think, lean, and rely, and be confident in Him. For He is the one. He is the one that is leading us and guiding us. So I say one more time, you know, read that, read that uh, chapter in Daniel, yeah. chapter 4. And that uh, it, I'm telling you, it brought me to tears. It brought a lump to my throat where I couldn't talk. Ah, Yahuwah. Ura-ba-ba-ba-ka-sa-ta. <clears throat> you know, it gets you wherever you're at to your knees. It brings the pride down. You know, you want to you wanna praise him. You want to get the benefits, the benefits of, of, uh, of being good. You, want, you don't want to get the benefits of pride, having pride or, or, or whatever, how you're going to be or act. Let's thank them. Thank them today. If you understand what I said, if you don't, well, then hear it again so you can hear it and get the gist of it, what it is. We don't want to get into that place. Father, we just want to thank you, Father, that you were listening and you see us all the time, Father. When we do Father, when we have to come to our knees and just repent and be humble, Father, forgive us of our ways, forgive us of our ways that took us, Father, that wanted to just take us in a different path, Father. We just thank you. How about you out there? Are you, you out there and around the world, neighbors, friends, right now, if you're hearing this word, Father, Pass it on. Have them pass it on. Share it with someone else. Okay? 
And just know that all, everything, all the glory and honor goes to him, for he is good. The word says, taste and see that he is good. Yeah. He is good. He's like honey in your lips. He is good. Go on. Get some honey. Put it in your lips. You're so good. You're so good to me and so good to others. Right? So I wanted, I wanted to share that with you and um, uh, really think about it. You know, we're in times right now, some pretty bad times that we, it just keeps us there still sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to get into that place. Mm -hmm. So uh, before I leave, you know, I just want to tell you that um, right now, wherever you're at, he's telling you right now. Sometimes we're off there scattered. Right, right now, we don't know where, what way we're going or where we're going or what we're doing. He said, all you that are scattered right now, come on to me. I'm going to give you shalom. And you are the children of shalom. Yes, you are. So I'm going to leave you today. I'm going to leave you with the scripture, but I do want to tell you. Uh, read read uh, Daniel 4. And thank you so much for pushing, uh, tuning into uh, H2HDI and listening to all the Shabbat and terabytes and just for tuning in and for listening to Let Isha Speak, okay? So I hope you today you received the word. And we thank, we thank him. Hallelujah. So uh, let's have Elder read this verse, and then I'm going to leave you. And you have a pleasant, wonderful, glorious day with him. Remember, relying on him all day, walking in confidence because you're walking and relying on him. Okay? So, Elder, can you read that uh, yeah. last scripture? And I'm going to say... Goodbye to all of you until we see each other again, okay? So this is Isha telling you, put a smile, okay? And I'm going to leave you with Shalom, Shalom. Elder, can you read it? Yeah, Psalm 73, verse 28 says, But it is good for me to draw near to you, Yahuwah. I have put my trust in Yahuwah Elohim that I may declare all your works. All right, everybody. Till we see each other again, remember, share this with someone else. And thank you. Thank you. You like the, the like and share button? Push it. Okay? Until so, we'll see each other soon, okay? I'm going to leave you now.